Welcome to Monk's Lantern. My name is Janice Grinnell. My husband's called Jose. He's actually filming me, but um, we'd love to see you in our garden. Maybe not for the next few months while we're, we're not supposed to be doing that and we can't, but when we can, it will be lovely to welcome you here. Uh, the garden's normally open at the end of May, but because we've had such hot weather, I think everything's probably about two weeks ahead of, ahead of when it should be. Uh, the garden actually faces due south. Um, we bought the house in 1997 and it had just had one owner before that. Uh, there were just one couple and they'd laid everything out in a typical 1930s fashion with lawn beds and standard rose trees in the middle. So with our four children and with a house that needed a lot of TLC, it was a, a fair amount to, to get going and to do. But now, 23 years later, uh, it looks lovely even though I say it myself. Gardening is in my, in my DNA. My mum's always gardened um, and it's something that is definitely, I'd be out here any time of the day or night, whatever the weather is. <laughs> I've even been known to garden with a light on my hatch. <laughs> um, the borders are mostly laid out um, with a bit of a theme going on. Uh, it, it's about 150 foot, this garden. So it's not particularly large. Um, it's a normal 1930s detached uh, house in Surrey. Um, each of the areas that we're going to walk around and show you, I've all got a bit of a theme going on. I used to do window display, so I think that kind of idea of arranging things in certain order um, and being quite structural is in my, is in my blood. Um, the first border we're going to have a look at, I kind of think is a nod to Vita Sackville West. It's a, a silver border. Um, so let's go and have a look at it. The colours in this bed touch on my love of Vita Sackville West Garden at Sissinghurst. It's got lots of silver and white and in the centre there's an olive tree, a salex flamingo with lots of dianthus and in pots, crassula. As these are not frost hardy, I do actually bring them in in the winter. Uh, also a weeping pear and a pyrus give larger structure. Moving up to the centre point, we have a small weeping silver birch which I have pruned and encouraged to form a natural break point midway. And this leads you to our rockery with alpines and lots of pretty pink thrift. Two beautiful aces, one a palmentum, the other a palmentum dissectum. I've tried to give the look of a dry riverbed here. This leads one down to the pond area. We have grandchildren, so the pond is gated safely with a fence round it. Last winter we erected a steel structure to train the wisterias and a vine. The pale pink variety rosea is a super variety and it helps to shade the pond and with the water lilies cut down some of the weed. We have four little teal ducks and we are hoping for ducklings, especially now they have a miniature monk's lantern to shelter in. This bed is full of exotic, brightly coloured plants, with a very small nod to another one of my garden legends, Christopher Lloyd. A couple of Trachocarpus palms, which are frost hardy, add structure with a variegated golden privet and bamboo giving height. The bottle brush has survived 15 years or so unprotected, looks beautiful towards the end of July, June. I have very many different types of dahlias, Bishop of Landorf among them, Lots of cannas, um, both the dahlias and the cannas I remove in early autumn as I found the cold winter is not to their liking. This bed has a variegated dogwood, Cornus elegantissima and beautiful asa. It's got a green leaf variety of Cotinus and a pineapple tree, uh, Cistus batonarii. A tree peony and orange and lime berberis form the edges of the border. Arranged around a Scots pine which was grown from seed and bonsai, we have a collection of Ioniums and Aces and Acacias in pots. A path leads you past our canary apron. 
and to the side a small table containing sedums and a potted Judas tree. Lastly, we end up our new seating area. We have created this throughout our lockdown and we can't wait to plant it up and to welcome you to our garden. We have a large selection of pots, mostly grown from seed. Amongst them are Bougainvillea, Oleander, Albizia. They overwinter in the greenhouse, which is sometimes groaning for space. And lastly, we have a little companion that has over lockdown kept us company. He is so tame. Here in our garden at Monk's Lantern, we have an awful lot of plants packed in a relatively small area. We hope you've enjoyed the tour and we look forward to meeting you and welcoming you in person next year when we're open as normal. Thank you.